With that message, I am very honored and happy to present to the National Congress of American Indians a very special message from President Joe Biden. To all the tribal leaders and National Congress of American Indians, it's an honor to be with you. And thank you for all you do to contribute to our well-being of our nation and support the well-being of your tribal communities and citizens. You know, I know this past year has been especially challenging. The COVID crisis has hit Indian country with devastating and disproportionate force. The climate crisis continues to threaten your communities and sacred ways of life. From health disparities to gaps in economic opportunity, we see how indigenous communities still live, still live in the shadow of a long and painful legacy of broken promises. As president, I promise you, I'm committed to working with you to write a new and better chapter in the history of our nation-to-nation -nation relationship. You know, in my first days in office, I signed an executive order reinvigorating consultation with tribal nations across the entire federal government. Respect for tribal sovereignty will be the cornerstone of our engagement with you. We started by extending tri expanding tribes' access to the strategic national stockpile for the first time to ensure you receive help from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, to fight this pandemic. And we'll work closely with tribal governments to ensure free testing and vaccines for Indian country. We took steps to rejoin the Paris Climate Accord to protect our natural treasures, including the National, the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, Bears Ears, and the Grand Staircase Escalante. And to get us through the economic, this economic crisis, I'm committed to supporting tribal nations and delivering immediate economic relief through the American Rescue Plan. Above all, we're going to uphold our trust and treaty responsibilities to tribal nations. Tribal nations will always have a seat at the table in my administration. It's a start with the first, I started with the first Native American to serve in the cabinet, Congresswoman Deb Holland. There is much, much we have to do, but I'm confident we can make progress. I know we can write a new and better chapter between our nations by working together. Thank you and God bless you and thank you for all you've done.